All right, what's up, guys? So, if you're like me right now, I need to erase my MacBook so I can um, possibly sell it or get a new one. But, when you go to erase it, you click on your hard drive, hit erase, and you're like, hmm, APFS, that's Apple's newest erasing system. We should use that. You click it, hit erase. And you're like, it's deleting. It's done. And you're like, yay, we're done. Click out of that. And hit restart. But you don't know that as soon as you restart the computer, you're going to be having a lot of problems. And I'm going to show you how to get past those problems today. So, you're going to let this thing start back up. Sometimes you might get a question mark on the screen. Sometimes you may not. Let me see what I get. It's taking a long time, so it's probably going to be going into the um, backup recovery mode because you deleted it using the wrong format. I'll skip to when the folder comes up. Alright, so for mine, the photo with the question mark inside isn't coming up, but there's still a way to fix that. If you have one where the folder comes up with a question mark inside, you're basically going to have to hit the hold the power button down until it completely shuts off. Wait for it. Yep, and then you're going to have to press the power button again. Wait for it to make that sound. It's starting up. And you're going to hold Command R. These two right here. Yep, and then internet recovery starts up. So yeah, all you're gonna do is just let this do its thing. It's gonna ask you to select your internet. I'm going to blur all these type with one hand, but all right, yeah, there we go. It's going to take around five minutes to ten minutes to finish, and then I'll cut back when it has finished. All right, so mine has just finished the internet recovery. So um, basically, it's going to reboot itself, like normally, as if you would restart your computer. And yeah, we'll be right back when it does that. So mine just finished, and basically, if you were to try to install macOS, it would get about one minute away from finishing the installation. And it would basically screw itself over and just cancel it because it can't find the right disk to do it on. Basically, to fix that, you're going to go into Disk Utility. You're going to select Apple APFS Media. You're going to select Erase. You're going to use EXFAT. And it doesn't really matter which one you use from here. I just like to use this one. And you're going to type erase. And once that's done, then you're going into, into the untitled volume. And you're going to click mount or unmount. And then mount again. Alright, so once you have done that, then you are going to make sure this mount, this disc is mounted. You can check so by clicking the unmount button, mounting it again. And going to info. Um, make sure it's untitled, make sure it's writable, and also make sure it is journaled. There we go. It's not journaled. That's what I mean. Once you're done with that, click untitled, click first aid, run first aid on it, then hit Apple APFS Media, hit first aid, run. It's going to say it needs to be repaired. Click done. Once you've done that, then you can go into restart, and it should be good. Alright, so editing Kyle here. So basically, I didn't explain this in the video, I thought I did. But once you restart the computer, you're going to hold Command-R like you did at the beginning. It's going to bring you to that disk utility window again, and you're going to, from there, hit reinstall macOS. So that's just a heads up. And by the way, guys, I never said this at the beginning, but um, 
if you were to have a backup of a of a previous Mac on a hard drive, basically you would base like you could skip all of these steps that I'm showing you guys right now. All of these. And you could just um use the control R keys and then when you hit um like when it brings up that screen, you can basically just click restore from old snapshot shot or something like that and just plug your USB in and then it would work from there. But yeah, that's basically all guys. Once this starts back up, you can click install your new Mac OS version, which for me is going to be High Sierra. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I There's not many videos on YouTube of how to do it, so I thought I would make this video to show you guys how to do it. Um, yeah, that's really all today, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.